I've had a lot of requests from my students on how to data log virtual VE variables and coefficients properly in HP tuners. Now EFI Live made it pretty easy for us because the tables are all native to the software, but in HP tuners there is no direct table shown inside the software, so you're usually using the Blue Cat tool. And in the scanner tool, there's not a table that you can pick. So let me show you a quick way to create a custom histogram for virtual VE that will work directly with the Blue Cat tool. Before we begin in the VCM scanner, let's make sure we have a couple things ready. Number one, you need to have your own wideband being brought in here. In this case, you use, I'm using the Lambda Pro sensor and I'm bringing the in as units of Lambda. And then I'm also, from the airfield commanded high res calculating my current Lambda commanded. And as a result of my delivered Lambda divided by my target Lambda, I calculate a Lambda error. This Lambda error is going to be the value I plot in my histogram. And so if we go over here to the histogram, now it's time to make a custom unit. So in this case, we'll go to the setup, go to number 12 here that's not used yet, and we need to set it up. So just like any other table-based histogram, we're going to pick a PID here that we want to include. In this case, it's going to be my lambda error. And usually, in this case, I'm going to plot it to three decimals just so I have a little bit more data. A little bit more is better than not enough. Now when we go to row and column axis, Usually you guys are used to grabbing a table right here and if you go to here you have a list of tables you can pick from. Well there's no volumetric efficiency table on all the virtual VE cars so this doesn't work. And even more so if you went into boost then some of the other default tables that you had used before just aren't going to give you what you need. So in this case what we really want to do is we just want to set up using separate columns and rows and we're going to make those match what we had in the blue cat tool. So if I bring the blue cat tool up here, you see my VE table that I've loaded from some coefficients. And you see we've got breakpoints here on the vertical axis for RPM. And over here we've got map. In this case, I'm doing it in LS2 VE format. So it's a one bar system that goes to 105. If we're doing a supercharged car, let's just go ahead and set it up for, for two bar right away. And with two bar, you see that our pressures go a lot further. And here it's a little bit easier to see in the LS2 format. And you can see that our pressures go out past 105. What's important here is that we've got these listings down here of where are the breakpoints. So we can make them both the same. So really I can just highlight the entire RPM breakpoints, hit Control C to copy, go back to my histogram, and in this one my row header, in this case the sensor is going to be engine speed, and my labels, I'll just hit control V and that creates my labels. And then when I go to column, in this case it's going to be manifold absolute pressure. So we just grab that. And the labels will once again come from my table here. And so in this case I can just grab the same labels that were being used in the Blue Cat tool. Control C to copy. Here, control V to paste. And now when we look at this, my custom histogram here shows the same breakpoints for engine speed and manifold pressure as the VE table does in the Blue Cat tool. So that will allow me to make my measurements here and corrections on here. Uh, the other thing that this is really neat for is if we have a supercharged application, we're not using a custom operating system. In this case, we go well beyond 105. You can see we're up into the boosted region in the 150s all the way to 200 and change there and my VE table also has those same breakpoints out here. So all of these can be directly ported over into corrections on this table here. You just use the Blue Cat tool and paste that back into your editor and you're good to go. So if we've done this correctly, uh, we can just commit the changes and say yes and here's our new table.